Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of That Retro Gaming Show. Uh, sitting here recording. Today we're going to be doing uh, Donkey Kong Jr. After last episode's run through Donkey Kong. One thing I will point out right off the bat is I, I made a comment in the last one that like the top of the screen was getting cut off. And I was like, that doesn't seem like a, that seems like a weird NES thing. It was my fault. I had the caption block overlaid on top of it and so that was me being dumb but anyway um anybody new to this series uh, i'm trevor starkey from that nerdy site we are uh, uh i'm playing through all of the nes classic games in order of release ish you know as best as i can kind of see them based off of like a, a very rudimentary wikipedia search about release dates um, but we're here in the June 1986 block uh, of North American games. Uh, Donkey Kong was last. Donkey Kong Jr. is uh, this week. And I was really bad at Donkey Kong. Uh, so I'm probably going to be really bad at Donkey Kong Jr. I don't anticipate that changing things. But at least this time, I'm attempting to get my revenge on Crappy Crappy Jumpman and how bad he was at controlling in Donkey Kong. So let's see how this goes. This is one... I like I really don't have memories of playing Donkey Kong Jr. Like I'm sure I did, but my memories are predominantly playing the original Donkey Kong. Um so yeah, let's let's see how this goes. See see if I can make it past the first round of this game. <sighs> okay. So this one much less jump focused and more about climbing up these vines. Get some fruit there. Okay. Don't like that guy coming after me. The, the, his little chompers. Okay, I can jump. Can I jump all the way over there? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. Ah! Again, though, none of these guys are great at fall damage. That was that was an issue I had with Mar with Mario with freaking Mario in uh, in the last one, and uh, and here we go with Donkey Kong. This giant ape creature cannot handle a tiny bit of uh, falling down to the little platform there below. So, not great. What the? I jumped. I pushed the button to jump. This is going to be really annoying. Because it's going to be another one where it's just going to be 10 minutes of me angry at Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's that's what you're in for, so strap in. I'm just not great at these old games. I pushed the thing to jump, and he doesn't jump. At like, logically, he has to have his hand stretched out to jump, so I do that, and then I push the jump button, and he doesn't jump. Or I push the hand thing out, and then he falls. Or this little tiny alligator creature gets me. Cool. Cool. This is this is fine. Wasn't even paying attention. That's a, that one's on me. That's completely on me. I was just angry, just mindlessly looking off, not paying attention to that little alligator dude coming my way. I should really be doing like two player mode, <laughs> just so I can get like more time out of one of these games. I don't know why. That guy, what the crap was that? Why did I not jump? Uh, yeah, I don't know how I killed the other guy. How is that a thing? Oh, oh, because they dropped the fruit on him. Or coconut. I guess they're coconuts, right? That's probably what these are supposed to be. 
<sighs> Thank God. I can be sitting here in 2020 and enjoying games like Astro's Playroom or Spider-Man Miles Morales or Bug Snacks way more than I'm going to say crap like this. Not fun. Important, sure, fine. I won't take that away from the games. But they are crap. Take that, you jerk. Okay. Suck it, jump man. Free my dad. Gotta be like pixel perfect on that jump there. It would seem. Screw you. Screw you, you lousy chain thing. I feel like I'm doing a little bit better on this one than I did on freaking... The original Donkey Kong. Not much, clearly. Not much better, but I at least cleared like the first round way quicker. Jerk. Suck it, jump man. Suck it. What are you going to do? Throw birds that drop eggs on me? Yeah, that sounds that sounds like your MO. Yeah, that, that particular egg kept me from getting over to that chain on that one. There we go. way to make this like a viable kind of like gaming experience had to have been just outright buying the uh, uh, the, the arcade cabinets don't you don't any you effers drop a thing on me <laughs>
Did not realize there was a chain there for me to jump onto. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me there. That's two. All right, already doing better than... Uh, infinitely better than, than where we were with the last Donkey Kong. And now, apparently, Jumpman has taken over, I don't know, presumably like early Tron or something. This one's not, like, bad, so much as just, like, you gotta get, figure out the timing on avoiding those dudes. All right. That one, that level was way too much of a piece of cake compared to the ones that came before it. <laughs> oh, I gotta move up all these friggin' locks. Okay. Oh, dang it. Did not realize what that dude's pattern was going to be. Okay. Yeah, okay, it just seems like the first couple levels are really, like, designed to cull the wheat from the chaff, I guess. Yeah. Suck it, jump man. I got to, like, hold my daddy again there. Wait, am I back? Yeah, we're back at the beginning, right? This is the first level again, okay. And I go back to dying the same way I did the first time around. <laughs> cool. Nope. Don't do that. finally got the hang of this game. Until, of course, I didn't. Dang it. I had no nowhere to go to get away from that dude. And that's gonna do it. Alright. I can I can live with that. A respectful like one and a half times through the game loop, I guess. I don't I I don't know what what that is. But top score, thirty three thousand two hundred points. I'm good with that for, for this let's play. <laughs> um yeah. Okay, that's much better experience there than, than Donkey Kong, uh, which, again, is still very fresh in my mind because I recorded that literally 15 minutes ago uh, as, of, as of this recording here. So that's going to do it for this episode of That Retro Gaming Show. Uh, let me see what is next on the docket for next week. Uh, let me find it here. Oh, it looks like Mario Bros, the original Mario Bros. So not Super Mario Bros, the Mario Bros, Mario Bros. Uh, the single screen, like Mario attacking a whole bunch of crabs and stuff like that. So 
Yeah. Looking forward to that one. It'll be another another June 1986 release there, it looks like. So uh, that's going to do it for this episode of That Retro Gaming Show, as I already said. Uh, thank you for joining me. You can follow all of the things that are going on over at That Nerdy Site at thatnerdysite.com. And yeah, and I lost the captioning because I clicked on another window. Stupid me. Stupid, stupid me. I'm sorry about that. Anybody who was watching specifically for the closed captioning windows of things. Um, anyway, uh, that nerdy site, patreon.com slash that nerdy site. Like, subscribe on the YouTube channel here, all that. Ring the bell, as the kids say. Uh, yeah, as always, stay nerdy and be good to each other.